How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about lighter weights versus heavier weights for muscle growth. So what is the best way to go about building muscle? Is it better to use less weight or is it better to use heavier weight? Now my answer is going to be extremely straightforward. You guys are going to love it, hopefully. So my opinion, my advice through my eight years of training is that one, you need to do compound movements. I will never say to never do compound movements. Compound movements are the foundation of building muscle. Building muscle, you need compound movements. So while doing compound movements, I recommend training heavy. Pretty straightforward. I don't recommend doing one, two repetitions, even three repetitions. You can still train extremely heavy, but perform five repetitions to eight repetitions for building muscle on the compound movements. What I recommend also is to do isolation exercises. Isolation exercises you need to do if you are building muscle. Some people think, oh, if I'm, uh, if I'm gonna build muscle, I'm simply just gonna do all compound movements. And that is what's happening with the internet nowadays with all the powerlifting that is coming on a board. Uh, I agree with powerlifting, but for building muscle, I don't agree that all you do is you do your compound movements. That is incorrect. You need isolation movements. Barbell rows is not enough to train your biceps. If you want big biceps, you need to train your biceps directly using barbell curls, dumbbell curls, hammer curls, preacher curls. You need to attack those muscles. So yes, isolation exercises are extremely important. And with those exercises, I recommend doing anywhere from eight to 20 repetitions. When you perform these higher repetitions for the isolation exercises, the weight that you will be using isn't going to be as heavy as if you were using five repetitions. Pretty straightforward. So in the end, what is better, light or heavy weight? You need to use both, but the way that you use it needs to be important. For the compound movements, you go heavier. For the isolation exercises, you go lighter. Here's what people mess up. They will do higher repetitions on the compound movements and lower repetitions on the isolation exercise. I see people all the time doing four repetitions, five repetitions for bicep curls. That's dumb. I would never do three or four repetitions ever for bicep curls. The, game, the name of the game when it comes for bicep curls is getting that pump, you guys. Getting that volume in, really allowing the muscle to swell while progressively overloading at the same time. Here's the same thing for compound movements. Doing 30 repetitions on the best bench press, in my opinion, is not good and it's not safe either. Yes, I know some people do it like for the football testing, they'll do as many reps as possible, but the more repetitions you do for the compound exercises, the worse your form's gonna get on the later repetitions. So you do 20, 25 repetitions, your form might start to get crappier and crappier, and what happens is you risk getting injured because those compound movements, your form needs to be precise. So that's why doing heavier, lower repetitions, you make sure your form is spot on. So end of video, compound movements, heavier repetitions, five to eight repetitions, isolation exercises, anywhere from eight to 20 repetitions, give or take one or two. End of video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please like the video and share. Thanks for watching.